Hey guys, welcome back. So here we are with a new vinyl pickups video. So I've just been picking up a couple of albums I wanted to talk about. I've only picked up three this time. I did actually order four records. Unfortunately, the fourth record didn't arrive. It was from a UK seller and they, they conned me again. I, I hate UK sellers. They're so difficult to deal with. You get mo occasional ones that are really good, but for the most part, they really are not very good at all. Yeah, so that didn't arrive. I'm just trying to get a refund on at the moment. I raised the case for eBay. And just so you know, the, the seller is called Disco Days with a Z on the end of it. So D-A-Y-Z. Yeah, avoid them like the plague. They've got an, a ton of, of positive feedback, but they have a small amount of negative feedback. And all of the negative feedback is the same thing, that the, they don't send the product out. They don't answer any messages, which is what's happened to me. They've, I've sent them three or four messages and they've ignored every single one of them. So quite frankly, they've stolen my money and I don't have time for people like that. So that will be escalated at the end of next week because I have to wait a week before I can do that. That will be escalated to eBay and I'll get my money back. Kind of frustrating that you have to keep doing it. I've raised so many cases the last few months, all against UK sellers because they're that unreliable. It's a shame. Also, as you can see, I've got a unit as well now. So I've got a Calix unit from IKEA. So I've got that a couple of days ago, it arrived. I've got all my records out. Made them all out in different genres for each section as well. I've got another Calyx unit on the way, which is going to go behind me here. So that's going to look really nice. Yeah, I'm really glad with these units. So they're really nice looking units and they store your vinyl perfectly. So you can get, I mean, I've got loads of space. You can get tons in there. That's really good stuff. So right onto the records we've been picking up. As I say, I've only picked up three albums, but they're all really good albums and I've thoroughly enjoyed them. Uh, they all arrived yesterday, so I had a good listen last night before I made this video. So I want to make sure I can talk about them properly. So, yeah, recently I put up a video, my Britney Spears collection. And I, and <laughs> I know the reaction was mixed on that one, but hey, I did it. Now, after putting that video up, I was talking to my good friend Stu, Skunkworks here on Twitter. And he happened to say the one night, he was talking about Britney Spears and all this and that and the other. And he, he says to me, oh, you know, Jamie Lynn Spears is better than Britney. And Jamie's a sister, if you don't know. And I was just like, Really? I thought he was taking the piss, really. But I thought, you know what, I'll just have a look anyway, because I didn't know what kind of music she made. I knew she was making music, just didn't know what kind of genre. So I looked her up on YouTube, found her first music video, and I was like, wow, it really shocked me. Because she's doing country music, but it's more like country rock. It's not like traditional country to me. It only might be, it's not what it sounds like to me anyway. But it's really good. And she's only got an EP out at the moment, she hasn't got an album out yet. And you can only buy it digitally from what I can see. There's no physical release, unfortunately. So I downloaded it anyway, and it's absolutely superb. I've been playing it back to back for like two or three weeks now, every single day. I absolutely love it. So that really got me like suckered into country music, you know, because obviously with YouTube, it always suggests videos you might like to watch. And I just went off on a tangent and started listening to many different artists, like Laura Bell Bundy, there was Miranda Lambert, there was Darius Rocco, apparently from uh, Hootie and the Blowfish. He's actually quite good. Uh, there's Tim McGraw who I got into a few years back and I listened to a lot of his stuff a couple of years ago. Uh, I do like Tim McGraw, he's really good. That was off the back of Nelly and the collaboration he did with Tim. And then I really liked what he did so I, bought, I got some of his albums and I listened to them. And I've listened to a few other artists and I can't think of the rest of them. But yeah, quite a few. I've been trying to find my uh, my foot in, in, the, in the country genre because it's not really something I know too much about. And it's like most people, the country music to me has always been a bit like, uh, I don't know if I can listen to that. But the more I listen to it, the more uh, more artists I find that I like, it's actually really good. And I think that just goes for most genres. If you want to really get into a genre, uh, or even if you don't, I mean, you might just come across an artist one day, but it's always finding that artist or that band that can really get you into that type of music, because that's the hardest part, really. Because you can go through, like, 50 different artists and not find anybody you like, and then you'll find that one, and it'll suddenly just connect with you. And after that, then it just snowballs, and it's, it's absolutely brilliant. You just find artist after artist. So, yeah, I was really impressed with Jamie Lynn Spears. I thought she was absolutely fantastic. Now, as I say, I was listening to Tim McGraw a few years ago, and I had several of his albums that I used to play all the time. And I also found a band called The Pistol Manis back then, and they had a, an album called Hell on Heels. Now, I'd never heard of The Pistol Manis, didn't know who they were, you know, what the background was, or anything, or what, what type of country music they were making. But I downloaded the album, and the album was really, really good. I was, I was actually pleasantly surprised. So, recently, I was looking around on the, on the internet, on YouTube, uh, looking on eBay, looking for records, and I came across this, and I couldn't believe it when I saw it. I was so chuffed when I found this was on vinyl. And so the first pickup I've got 
is indeed Hell on Heels by Pistol Anis. This is an absolutely fantastic album. Whether you like country music or not, you have to give this a try because honestly it'll blow your socks off. It's so good. And the fantastic prints as well. They've done a really nice job on this for modern vinyl. So here's the front and the back. And it's also a nice fold out one, which I really love when they do this. I mean, it's like classic vinyl having that. All the lyrics for the songs in there, really nice picture in the middle of the band. It's fantastic. I also didn't realise until this came yesterday that Miranda Lambert is actually a member of this band. So I don't know if she was solo first, then she joined the Pistolanis and then she continued her solo career, or she was in the Pistolanis then went solo. Does anybody know? Let me know if you do. Because uh, I know she's got a lot of solo material, like quite a few albums, and she's absolutely fantastic. I downloaded the latest album, Platinum. Brilliant. But yeah, this is a cracking album. Uh, every song on this album, top notch, there isn't a bad song on the album, but my favourite song so far, Hill on Heels, Bad Example, Housewives Prayer, Family Feud and Trailer for Rent. They're the best songs for me personally, but every track on this album is spot on, and it's a really good album. And so if you don't know much about country music, or you've been, always been a bit put off by listening to it, give it a shot and see what you think. I'll put links down in the description below for all the artists I've mentioned as well. So you know, just put one song for each artist and see what you think, see if anything pops out and that you like. And trust me, it's worth doing that as well because I know from personal experience that normally if someone says in the video, oh, I've got links down below in the description, I tend to not bother. Uh, it's, it's not intentional, I'm not being rude, it's just that I just don't think to do it. I'm kind of, I get sidetracked with other things and I'll go on to other, vid other videos or something will happen that I'll have to go and do the, like, the washing or the, the, some kind of housework or something or someone will call me on the phone or something will happen and I'll just totally forget to go back and look at those links. But trust me, it's worth it because Alex, my good friend, Blue Tonic 78, he did his vinyl pickups a couple of weeks ago and he listed all, of, all the different artists in the description below. I went through all the links, didn't really find much that I liked until I got right to the end and then there was a band at the end which I was just absolutely blown away with. Like, they're absolutely awesome. And I have picked up their album which I'll show in a minute but I want to show another one first. So, going with the country theme, I was on YouTube as I say, watching different artists and all these different suggestions were coming up from tons of different country artists. So I was trying to find someone I liked. And one of the first people I found was this one which is a, a girl called Casey Musgraves. And this album's called Same Trailer, Different Park. It's absolutely superb. It's really quite chilled out, background. Well, not background music, because that sounds kind of insulting, but it is a really chilled out album. It's just, just a really nice vibe with this one. And the first song I found on YouTube was Follow Your Arrow, which is a great tune. I really liked that, and that caught my attention. So I clipped on one of her other videos, which was Blowing Smoke, which was another one, which was really good. A bit more upbeat, that, a bit more up-tempo. And so I went and got the album, and it's absolutely bang up. It's only cost me like nine pounds shipped from California. I mean, it's brilliant. It's absolutely fantastic seller on eBay called All Your Music, based out in Irvine, California, and they do free deliveries to the UK on records. And they'll use the cheapest record seller on there as well. I've got all three of these from them, they're absolutely bang on. So, yeah, so, so far my favourite tracks on this album are obviously Blown Smoke and Folly Arrow, but I also like Merry Go Round, Dandelion. Um, Pretty much, yeah, those are off the first side. Follow Your Arrows on side two, and to be quite honest with you, I didn't find a bad song on this album at all. It's a really nice, it's just a nice easy album to listen to and have on, and it just really sets a nice vibe. So, so I'll put links down below anyway, so you can have a listen and see what you think, but yeah, Casey Musgraves is fantastic. So the album that I got from watching Alex's video was this one here, which is More Than Just A Dream by Fitz and the Tantrums. And this was a pleasant surprise. As I say, I clicked through all of the links that Alex put up on his channel on the description for the video. Didn't really find anything that appealed to me because Alex is into a lot of the like indie stuff and the indie rock scene and all that kind of music. And some of it appeals to me, some of it doesn't. Uh, Alex also likes a lot of 80s pop, like Pet Shop Boys and all that kind of bands. But this one, I was blown away. I put it on it was a song called The Walker. And it's just a really happy electronic tune, and it's just absolutely awesome, and it really blew me away. So I was like, I've got to get this album. So Alex told me what the album was, I tracked it down, as I say, all your music on eBay, brilliant seller. And so far, I listened to this all the way through last night, and the best songs so far for me were The Walker, Spark, 6am, Fool's Gold, and House on Fire. Every other song is great, but those are the main ones that really stood out. And I was just so impressed. Uh, yeah, absolutely superb. I don't really know what kind of genre it is, but it is electronic type music. And there's like, side two in particular is a lot more soulful, I felt, a lot more funk based. Um, at least that's the way it comes across to me anyway. I know Alex prefers side A, but I prefer side B without that. It's absolutely superb. Yeah, so fits in the tantrums more than, the, was it more than just a dream? Yeah, more than just a dream. So I highly recommend checking this one out and all. Fantastic. Link down below anyway, as I say. 
Um, so yeah, so there'll be links down below for all three of those albums for the three artists to check out, and also the other artists I mentioned that I found as well. Uh, have a look at those as well. Miranda Lambert in particular has got an amazing song with uh, Carrie Underwood called Something Bad, which is just my tune of the moment, and it's just driving me nuts because I can't stop listening to it. Uh, it's a fantastic record, I'll put that down there. So there you go, guys, that's what I've been picking up. There are a lot more that I have on my watch list, and I'll, <laughs> there's just a lot of albums I really want to pick up, and I'm really enjoying this whole vinyl thing at the moment. It's just nice to get back into buying music, full stop, but it, whichever format I buy it on, it's just nice to have music back. Because it's been such a long time. I mean, back in the day, as I said before, I used to buy music constantly. I was just literally just going buy tons and tons of CDs. It's like every week. Uh, they're all doing, always doing deals in H and B. So I just like buy bags full. So it's nice to have this and to come back to this now. Obviously, I still love my gaming and everything, but it's nice to have some other interests as well. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think of those artists and check out the description links if you haven't heard of any of them before as well. See if there's anything that actually piques your interest. You know, you never know. It might get you into country music. It, it might just not, I don't know, it might even, you know, just spur you on to listen to somebody else that's suggested by YouTube when you find the videos. Anyway guys, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, and if, you, if you'd like to, please share the video around as well, that's always helpful. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all again soon. Mm -hmm.